Hey everyone, now I'm going to show you how to create the front elevation of this storage shed. So we're going to start by typing XL enter to draw a construction line. And remember, construction lines are reference lines that help us create all of our drawings that line up with one another. So we're going to want a construction line on the far left side of the plan on both sides of the window in the far right side of the plan. And remember, everything in our drawings lines up. So the outer edge of the building um, in the front view is the same as the top view, which is called the plan. So I want you to type OS enter and make sure you have a check mark next to endpoint, midpoint, perpendicular, and nearest, and then click OK. Then I want you to select the walls layer, and we're going to draw a line from the far left construction line to the far right. And we're going to come up by 8 feet, and we're going to come up on the left side by 8 feet as well to give us the height of that wall right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the roof pitch. And this roof pitch is an 8 to 12 roof pitch. So what that means is that for every... Um, 12 inches the roof goes over it goes up by 8 inches so to make a perfect roof pitch we're going to draw a line that's 12 inches long 8 inches tall and you're going to connect it to make a triangle that looks like this then what I want you to do is move your triangle to this point and then move it to the left by 4 inches and press enter and you're going to then draw a line from the bottom end point that comes straight up and it just doesn't have to be any certain length just make sure it comes up past these two lines because we're going to extend this diagonal line to where it meets this vertical line to get our perfect roof pitch so if we select this line type EX enter click that line and press enter and now we have an exact um, eight to 12 roof pitch. Then what I want you to do is select this line, type O enter to offset in 5.5 inches for the distance, click above and press enter. And that gives us the thickness of our roof rafter which is a 2 by 6. And um, a 2 by 6 is actually 5.5 inches by 1.5 inches, that's why we made it 5.5 inches thick. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select this line, EX enter to extend, click that line to come up where it meets that point right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mirror all of this to the other side. Then I want you to draw a line from this end point that comes straight up past that line, press enter, and then bring it back to that point. And do the same thing on the left here. So we're going to draw the fascia now. So the fascia is the front trim board on front of the rafter, and then underneath here is called the soffit. So we're going to select this line, and we're going to copy to the left 1.5 inches to give us the thickness of our fascia there. And we're going to draw a line from that point to that point. And we're going to do the same thing underneath here to get our soffit. So if we come straight down 1.5 inches, come to the right, click where it intersects that line right there. And then we're going to do one more line. Actually, we're going to select this line and copy it over to that point and then extend it to right there. And then we can delete this line in the center because we just use that for reference. So now we're going to mirror the rest of the lines we just drew over to the right side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this line and offset it to the left by 5.5 inches to give us our corner board and we'll do the same thing on the left side and on the bottom as well and then we're just going to 
trim out this area right here. All right, so now all we need to do is add in our window. So remember, like I said, everything on the plan lines up with the elevation, so we know our window is going to fit perfectly between these two white lines right here so that it lines up exactly with the plan. So we're going to come up to our layers. We're going to select our Windows layer. We're going to draw a line from right here that comes up three feet. And then over to the left, click where it intersects that line. Come straight up three feet, over to the right, and straight down. And we can delete this line because it's just a reference line. Then we're going to select these three line, these four lines, type J, enter to join them together. And you're going to offset them in by two inches to get the thickness of our window frame there. And then you're going to draw a line from the midpoint. And you're going to offset it by one inch on either side and then you can delete the line in the middle. So this gives us our window here. So now we can delete our four construction lines um, because we only needed them to as a reference for lining everything up. So now what I want you to do is come to your layers and we're going to create a layer called glass. So if you click your new layer button, I'm going to make the color gray and the line weight 0, 0.00 millimeters. And I'm going to show you how glass is shown on an architectural drawing. So if we select our glass layer and we press F8 to turn ortho off, we're just going to draw a diagonal line. doesn't have to be any certain distance, just kind of up in this area right here. Then you're going to draw another shorter diagonal line above that one. So something like that. And then if you mirror it to the other side, these three dashed lines represent glass in an architectural drawing. So we'll use that to show that we have a window there, and then we'll copy it down to the other side. And now we are done with our front elevation.